Hey, human Latio Science, so this is Latio Suzuru, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shuffle. So, let's begin. Last time we had some fun with the costume Gengar, though it's kind of weird that its tongue sticking out constitutes as a costume. But today we actually have a bunch of new stuff! Alright, so first off, we have new daily Pokémon. These are the Hoenn starters, but winking. So, on the first day, which is Tuesday, we have the winking Torchic. So I'm actually just going to use a, a relatively optimized team and just, you know. So on the first move, this thing is pretty much, it is possible to mess up, but, I mean, it's a power of 4+. plus. Yeah, apparently the Hoenn starters winking have power of 4+, plus, which isn't bad, though they kind of have low attack power, so it's more of just catch them to catch them. They're cool. Not all that useful, but they're cool. I don't know. You could easily do this with Gengar or even potentially Rayquaza. Um, Gyarados just happens to, well, the shiny Gyarados just happens to be super effective, and it's, uh, mine is fully candied. If you don't have anything with, um, Ray with the, uh, Mega Speed Ups, Gengar is always a viable option. Um, or not always, always, um... Usually, Gengar will work out pretty well. If you have a lot of disruptions, then possibly Alakazam will work out a little bit better for you. Alright, so I'm actually just going to go for the, uh, the, the, um, the Gyarados right there. Just to try to get some combos, which I'm really not going to get right there. So I'm going to go for the Palkia just for the combos. Which, it's going to actually do pretty well, but it's not going to get us the KO. So now all I have to do is go for the Landorus at the top, and that's it. No reason to go for a Gyarados, because I don't need a huge combo. Uh, either way, as long as I didn't Risk Taker net... As long as the Risk Taker didn't give less damage than normal, it was going to go down. So this thing does not have the best catch ability in the world. It's okay. I don't know. It's... It could be worse. I don't know. I happen to get a super catch power. I don't recommend all these daily stages going for Great Balls, but... For the sake of being able to uh, do as much as I could for you guys, I decided to just go for the Great Ball there, especially because it was guaranteed anyway. And there we go. So we got an S rank capture on Torchic. It has an attack power of 50, the fire typing, and the ability power of 4+, plus, but now we have S rank capture, the winking Torchic. Okay, also new this week, we have a new great challenge. It is Hitmon Top. I mean, we all had to see it coming. It's, I mean, Hitmon Lee and Hitmon Chan came out uh, quite a while ago at this point, actually. So, it's actually surprising to me it took this long to come out. Really weird. Either way, I'm actually going to, as long as I'm going to go, um, go for the uh, Alakazam, I'm going to bring the Unknown. Just because Mega Boost Plus makes that big a difference. So. We'll see. There's also a lot of um, Raisinax level Pokemon that were added. As well as a lot of new skill swap um, Pokemon. Or Pokemon that can skill swap. So at some point I will actually look into potentially changing some of those um, Pokemon skills. Or adding levels to them. But... That's it here. I'm actually just going to go for Unknown whenever I can and just try to get the um, Mega Evolution off. And honestly, I just don't have really good luck with Unknown in this attempt. So, whatever. That's okay. I'm going to go for the Alakazam there, but <laughs> it's really not going to be enough to push, um, push us over the top to get the Mega Evolution. But at this point, all I need is to um, go for an Alakazam. Unfortunately, the Unknown didn't quite do it, otherwise that would have comboed into the Alakazam getting rid of a bunch of those blocks, but alas, it didn't work out. So in this particular stage, Alakazam does seem to be very good, because it'll get rid of all of those blocks and rocks. 
I mean, it won't do as much during the turns when there are none, but there aren't that many turns where there's no disruptions on the field. So, I mean, take it as you will. Really good combo potential when it, when there's a lot of disruptions on the field. When there aren't any on the field, then it does almost nothing. <laughs> but, fortunately, there are enough disruptions that it, that it's very useful. Unfortunately, if you use a Mega Evolution that can't deal with these disruptions, it's, you're gonna have a little more trouble. So, take it as you will. You probably could do okay with Gengar or Rayquaza, but I just feel like Alakazam just, I mean, it's super effective, so it already does more just in that, um, damage-wise, but you might be able to use Mewtwo, but once again, you'd need a lot of, like, swap pluses from Deoxys triggered or swaps from Mewtwo, plus you'd need to get the Mega Boost plus. Alakazam is just probably a better bet for that. So I'm actually going to luck out and catch a thing in a Pokeball, even though I only B-ranked it. So it was an attack power of 60, the fighting typing, and the ability Rock Break Plus. Either way, we do have a fighting type Rock Breaker, which Rock Break isn't exactly the best skill in the world. I mean, Block Smash is probably a little bit more useful. Barrier Bash as well. But whatever, whatever. It's still cool to have the fighting type. Um, there are better fighting types out there, but I mean, you could go for Lucario is one of the best. Machamp can, I mean, eje um, can eject something. That's useful enough. I mean, Keldeo is probably just about as useful, only his power of 4 plus. Whatever works for you. That's the thing I think what it comes down to. Whatever works for you. Alright, so for this Safari, I'm actually going to be bringing Lugia, Reshiram, and the uh, Mega Gengar. And all we need are two Pokemon in here since the return of the Charim and Sharpedo Safari. So the first of those two I'm going to find is the Sunkern. Since I need Sunkern and Sunflora. They're the only two that were added. So this is a simple uh, puzzle here. You just go for the sun, um, the sun Kern on the bottom. And it pretty much just uh, does enough for you in a combo that all you need to do is go for another move and you pretty much win. Um, I mean, the real challenge, as in any Safari, for the most part, is finding the Pokemon you need. Which, it took me quite a while to find um, even Sunkern. I legitimately found Sharpedo twice before I found Sunkern. And I actually found Cherim like twice in a row. <laughs> Alright, so in an effort to actually catch this thing, I'm actually going to go for a Great Ball on the Sunkern. Because I didn't know if I was going to find it again before finding Sunflora, so whatever. Alright, so we got the uh, S rank on there and the capture. It has an attack power of 30, the grass typing, and as we saw, the ability to eject plus plus. With that, we have S rank captured Sunkern. And the final thing we need in the Safari is Sunflora. It took me a while to find. <laughs> but eventually, eventually, literally midnight of the, of the first day I was trying, my last attempt of the night, and I happen to find some flora. Go figure. It would have been my last attempt either way, so it's not like I understand that obviously it's my last attempt. I'm not going to try the safari again once I have everything. But here, I mean, Rush Ram is useful because you can get rid of those barriers. Then once you do that, you just want a huge, um, a huge combo Gengar can help you with. But if you don't do it quick enough, it's going to start adding those barriers back. So you want to be a little bit on the careful side if you can get Reshiram to break some barriers into a, Gar uh, into a Gengar combo. You are good to go. So we're going to end up with a uh, decent size um, bonus combo. But whatever. For the most part, if you're not trying to get big combos, bonus combos, if, if you're not trying to get a big combo or a big score, bonus combos are kind of just a waste of time. But whatever.
And when I say high score, that also includes uh, competitions. All right. So, 40% catchability in a Pokeball. Are we going to catch this thing? Yes, we are. So, <laughs> we're actually going to catch this on Flora in a Pokeball. We've got the S rank. These aren't too difficult. These stages aren't too difficult. So, it has an attack power of 60. The ability constrict in the grass typing. So, it delays an opponent's uh, disruption for two turns, which is actually kind of cool. I don't really see any, any real use in it because at that rate, just put it to sleep provided that it's not a rock, ghost, or whatever, um, type. But congratulations, we caught every possible Pokemon in the Savari. My recommendation is Shaman's a lot better than, um, than Sunfloor in many, many ways, but to each his own. I mean, once again, Shaman can't put every, uh, um, Sleep Charm doesn't affect every Pokemon, depending on the certain types can't be put to sleep, but whatever, it, when it does work, it's definitely more useful, though this could still be pretty good, I guess. It just has a low attack power, which kind of works against it. I don't know. Either way. The next day, <laughs> the uh, Winking Trico showed up to play. So I'm actually going to use pretty much the same team I used in the Safari. Only this adds uh, a... Fourth support Pokemon, so I just use Shaman. I don't know, usually I just keep Shaman on my team because I use it for uh, coin grinding. Because it's, um, skills, it's, uh, skill boost level 3. It, it's a skill level 3 power of 4+, plus, so it's decent for just ending the, um, the Meowth stage quickly, if I, well, at the end. So... Decent damage, though not the best accuracy in the world, but what can you do? Alright, so, basically you have the uh, the Trico's, um, Trico adds itself at the bottom with the winking one, and the non-winking one, that is. If you're lucky, you get the power of 4+, plus. if you're not lucky, well, power of 4+, plus isn't all that strong, because Trico only has an attack power of 50, so it really doesn't make all that big a difference. So I'm just going to go for the shame in there, just to get the, um, the damage off. So I figure if I can get a combo either way, I'll be in decent shape. So I'm just going to try to get... I figure I might be able to get some a decent combo from the Lugia. Doesn't quite work out, but I can just go for the Shaman with a combo, which, once again, not quite enough. So I'm going to go for another Shaman. Shaman is triggering quite easily for me today, which is uh, kind of useful, I suppose. But with that, we're going to take this thing down with six moves remaining. Luckily, Trico seems a little bit more kind in, in respect to its uh, catchability than Torchic. And we're actually going to catch it in a Pokeball. Only going to A rank it, but I don't really care about S ranking these special stages. And it's, it has an attack power of 50, the grass type thing, and the ability power of 4 plus. So with that, we have captured the Winking Trico. Now, on top of all these new special stages, we also have new main stages. We've got 30 new main stages just waiting for us to attempt them. So, the first one in this new part of Rockus Hall is Whalmer. Now, I actually really like Whalmer. Unfortunately, its catchability is not something to be desired. So, in my first attempt, I'm actually going to just optimize it and just bring Mega Rayquaza. Yeah, that didn't work. So, upon trying it again, I actually decided, you know what, I'm going to bring Mega Rayquaza still, I'm going to bring Zacharum still, I'd rather bring Shaman, and I'm going to bring that White Curum to get rid of those Whalmers. Also, Rayquaza won't clear out the White Curum, which gives me a little bit more control over the Rayquaza, um, uh, well, the Mega Rayquaza clear, Omega effect. Now, luckily, I'm, I'm actually going to trigger Shaman on a, th um, Sleep Charm on a 3 match, which I understand I am at level 2 or 3, something like that. I want to say 2 on Shaman Land, so that is pretty lucky. 
So the big thing is just if you put this thing to sleep, you get rid of those mailers in the beginning and keep this thing asleep, it's not gonna be that difficult. So I kinda like having white key arm for that. You definitely don't need it for this. You could probably do this as well with something else that's super effective. Um I just decided to do this in case I didn't put this thing to sleep. So I'm just going to put it back to sleep with the Shaman, and then just get another Rayquaza combo. Now, a plus 5 moves will probably help you out if you're having trouble with us ranking this thing. Um, I happen to be lucky with the Shaman, but if your Shaman isn't triggering, a plus 5 should be enough. But there we go. So with seven moves remaining, it is gonna have it only has a base two percent catchability, and with seven moves remaining, which is an S rank, it only brings it up to thirty percent. This thing is not does not want to be caught. What can I say? I'm gonna throw a great ball at it at sixty percent, and that is going to actually catch it. So there we go. We got the S rank and the capture. It has an attack power of 60, the water typing, and the ability Whirlpool. With that, we have S rank captured Whalmer. Alright, so the next main stage is gonna be CDOT. Now with CDOT, one thing you could do is you could go with Mega B Drill and if you have it fully candy, that is probably a really good option. Mine is not candied. So, I'm actually going to go for the Gengar. Once again, Rayquaza could probably also work, though I figure Gengar might just possibly, um, well, clearing itself out, it might help out with combos, and I don't know. First of all, one thing I want to do is I would like to burn this thing, which I'm actually going to manage to do. And now I just want to get big combos. I want to get the Mega Evolution off. I'm just not having luck with that. So, I'm going to get um, the Gengar there. But I definitely didn't go for the right Gengar. I should have gone for the one at the top right. Or should I say, one inside the top right corner. But you know what? That's life. You make mistakes, you learn from them, and you move on. That's that. So... If I could get the biggest combo ever, I'd probably win with the S rank, but I'm not going to S rank at this time. But that's okay. At the very least, I can go for the, I can try to go for the capture, and that wouldn't be too bad, perhaps. <laughs> so the combo is going to end, but that's okay. All I need is just another decent combo, and that'll take that thing down. So with two moves remaining, we're going to actually take down the C-Dot. Obviously not enough for an S rank, but it might just be enough to get the catch ability to a point where we want to, where we can actually catch this thing. Since we didn't get the S rank, I really have nothing to lose by going for a Great Ball should that need arise. It only has a base 3 catch ability, 19% in a Pokeball. Really low odds, 1 in 5, but we're actually going to catch it. So, as I've said multiple times in this series, numbers mean nothing. It has an attack power of 30, the grass typing, and the ability Final Effort, where attacks do more damage when there are no moves left. That is a really, really weird skill, and very situational. I don't know how that would work in a time stage, but, or even maybe it wouldn't work. I don't know. So I'm going to try this again with the plus 5 moves. I figure with the plus five to be almost a guaranteed S rank. As long as I didn't, I wouldn't have lost otherwise, it'd be an S rank. So I'm gonna go for the Charizard right off the bat, try to get the burn just to get a little more damage. So I figure I have all the moves I want considering the fact that I have the plus five. It's gonna trigger, it's gonna um, get the Mega Evolution into the Gengar, which is going to end up triggering the Mega Effect, and get rid of all those barriers. Decent combos overall. In fact, 
This combo with the burn, which that burn does significant damage, is actually gonna, well, on Charizard that is, that doesn't really affect the Lukia, but it is going to do more than enough to take this thing down. So the plus five didn't even matter. Didn't even matter. So, whatever. I don't really care too much about wasting 800 coins. If I had to waste a couple thousand, that I wouldn't like. But 800 is only basically two Meowth attempts. So, with that we got the S rank, and that brings us to our second S rank in Garakus Hall. Next up is a repeat. It is Klefki. Now, my recommendation with Klefki is just be careful. I mean, this thing, it has Klefki in. That's pretty much the trick. Just work around the Klefki. So I could have gone for uh, for the uh, Gyarados or the uh, Rayquaza, or even Blaziken, but because it was Klefki, I decided, you know, I'm going to the Gengar. Also, less RNG base uh, on the lock. And... As far as going for Gyarados or Gengar, I don't know, Gengar was closer. So it's going to get rid of um, four of those Klefki right off the bat, which I can't complain about. I don't know. Basically, I'm just going to try to be careful to get whatever, um, to get the most combo potential that I can, but I want to get the Gengar and Mega Evolve as soon as I can. So I'm going to go for the Gengar instead of the Delphox, because I figured I'd rather get an extra move before it goes for its disruption than a potential Pyre boost that might not happen. So I'm going to go for the Charizard. I'm going to get the Burn off, which is actually going to buy me an extra turn before it'll go for its disruption. I'm going to go for the uh, Delphox. I'm not going to get a Pyre boost, though I do have the Burn, which is definitely going to help us out with this uh, combo. Unfortunately, at this point, my computer started slightly lagging. I mean, that's... that happens. I don't know. I'm gonna end up going for the Delphox in the middle to break some of those rocks and pretty much just... You know. Getting rid of those disruptions is definitely a decent way to get some more combos. I'm actually gonna get the Pyro Boost and the Delphox again, which is really useful, because this time I'm not gonna get it. I'm gonna come close to beating it, but it's gonna take one more move. But one more move is going to be enough with the combo to take this thing down. It did drop a gift for us, so we're going to get a nice uh, personal skill booster for a Pokemon that I never use. So, that's kind of cool. So there's the S rank. So there's the personal skill booster for Klefki, which once again is a Pokemon that I never use. But you know what? Whatever, it's so cool. So next up is gonna be the Pichu, but I guess we're gonna be taking that on next time. So next time we will be facing the repeat of Pichu and the winking Mudkip. So thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Shuffle. Goodbye.